Hey Freebs Nation, it's Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com. Today, we are going inside Costco. Yeah, we are. I'm in my car because there are a lot of people here and it's just a lot of awkward to be talking to yourself in a camera inside Costco. So I'm gonna do my little intro here and then I'll head in. I recently did a grocery haul showing you guys just typical stock of groceries that I get week to week at a grocery store. And I explained that I usually split my budget and I do one week I'll do a haul at a grocery store where I buy like produce and fresh things and canned items. And then the next week I'll use my budget at Costco where I get mostly non-food items, snack items for lunches, things like that. And y'all had a lot of questions and you were begging me to do a more thorough video on how my family shops at Costco. This is a Costco week for me. I'm just gonna take you guys along with me as I do a real, actual Costco shopping trip. I'll show you what I get and why. I will do my best to film as much as I can in the store, but if they don't let me film much, then I will explain once I get home. But I am a bit of a Costco expert. I have done many TV segments on Costco. I have many blog posts on Costco and how to shop at Costco. So what I'd love to do is an updated video on behind the scenes shopping at Costco, some of their tips and tricks, how to read their price tags to know when you're getting the best deal on something, what to buy, what to avoid. Would that be interesting to you? If it would, will you let me know in the comments below and I will get that on my calendar to try to get that filmed. But for today, I'm just walking you through a real Costco shopping trip. So let's do this. First things first, every time I come to Costco, the very first thing I do is fill up on gas. One thing about Costco is their gas is extremely affordable. It can beat out almost any other gas station. Every time we come to Costco, we top off our tank, even if it's hardly empty, I always top it off to full and I always do it before I go shopping because I usually run out of time and I'm rushing at the end and the gas is very important. So I always do that first. And this is kind of a random side note, but as an emergency preparer, preparedness rule. We try to never let our gas tanks go below half empty. I've had too many close calls where I've almost ran out of gas with a lot of kids in the car. So now as a rule, we always try to stay above half tank. So that could be something that you could implement in your family too, to alleviate a lot of stress. All right, I started at the food court, which I always do, especially when I'm with my kids, because I feel like if they're eating while we're shopping, then they're much better behaved. I actually like bringing my kids to Costco with me. Not that it's more convenient, but it helps me make quicker decisions and get out of there faster with less impulse buys. So in this case, it feels a little weird to be by myself, but that's one thing that we do as a family. Before I even come shopping to Costco, though, the most important thing is I look at their app and I try to see what their deals and sales and coupons are for the month. And then I base my shopping around what's on sale. The sale cycle at Costco is you will find that the same items, they'll be on sale for about a month and then there'll be a month or two off and then they'll go on sale again. So you tend to see a lot of the same things over and over unless it's something completely seasonal that they don't carry in stock after that season. In terms of my budget, I really focus on what's on sale. I stock up on that. I just do without until what I do need goes on sale a month or two later and I stock up on that and eventually I get on this cycle where I have enough to tide me over so I'm rarely paying full price for the stuff that they do run coupons on. My next tip before I even come to Costco is I make sure that my shopping list is in my phone, not necessarily on paper. I use my productivity planner and I keep lists in there but the reality is I never leave home without my phone but I might forget a paper list. So I always keep my shopping list in my phone as well as the Costco app, I have that pulled up and that's how I make sure that I stay on track. In terms of my budget, I explained this in my last grocery haul video, but I recommend $100 per person in your family per month, starting at $300, but then you break it down per week. So for me, having a family of eight, that is $800 a month or $200 a week for, you know, four week average. So with $200 per week, that is my budget for Costco, $200. There are a few ways that you can keep track, but for me, one thing that I do is I'll just keep my calculator open on my phone and keep a running total 
so that every time I add something to my cart, I will subtract it from $200 and it'll show me how much I have left, which helps me make sure that I don't get up to the register and get super shocked by a five or $600 grocery bill. Costco items are bigger. They're bulk sizes, so they are not the same pricing that you will find at an average grocery store. You will probably walk away with less items for $200 than you're used to, so it is really important to keep track. One thing that I will do is if I know that I have a Costco trip coming up, the week before when I shop at the grocery store, I will make it a point to underspend my budget. So maybe I'll only spend $100, $120, maybe $150 at the store instead of my full $200, and then I will take that extra grocery budget and I will move it over to my Costco budget for the next week so I can maybe have two, $250 if I find that I'm really running low on a lot of things and need to stock up. Today is one of those days where we are running low on a lot, and so I actually have a $300 budget today based on how I've manipulated my budget for the month, and this is my only Costco trip for the whole month. One thing that I think about when shopping for my family is how important is convenience. So for example, here are goldfish crackers. They are the exact same product, but this is a huge box that has two big bulk bags in it, whereas these are snack bags. These are really good for lunch. These are the type of thing that I would buy to have just at home. But one thing you have to look at is you need to learn to look up at the price tag and not just look at the total price, but you need to look at the price per unit or price per ounce. In this case, in this box, the goldfish crackers are about 15 cents per ounce. In this box, they end up being about 22 cents per ounce, which is a pretty substantial difference. It adds up for sure. So you just have to do the math and figure out, is it worth paying more for the convenience of having these packaged? Or should I just buy the big box of bulk goldfish crackers and then put them in individual baggies myself? In this case, I'm actually not going to buy either because they're not on sale and these do go on sale every so often. I've actually still got a box of these from the last time they were on sale and I stocked up, so I have enough to last us. So I'm actually gonna wait, we're gonna hold off, and we're gonna go for things that are on sale, and then in a month or so, when these go on sale, hopefully then I'll stock up on those then, and it'll help me make my decision. Unfortunately, right now, Costco has very few lunch and snack items that are on sale, but my take two fruit basket that you've seen in my snack and lunch system video, I'll link that below, is completely empty. We are out of everything, so I am going to pay full price for these uh, fruit leathers, but I'm only gonna get one box to tie this over until next month when hopefully more things go on sale. And then also in the meantime, I'll just try to give them more fresh fruit and more alternatives in their lunch while I wait, and then when they do go on sale, I will definitely stock up. very often is salmon, but we do like it. We just kind of save it for a special meal, like a Sunday meal or when we have guests over because it's so expensive. This month though, the Costco bags are $5 off. I have only seen go on sale one other time and it was about a year ago. So the fact that it's an expensive item and it only goes on sale once in a while, I'm going to stock up and even though it's gonna eat up a big chunk of my budget, I'm going to grab more than one bag so I'll have that protein on hand at a discount. Wow, okay, so I'm not normally a big fan of impulse buys, but in this case, I was just stopped in my tracks because you all know I love ham. I like keeping them in my freezer. They're so good for quick and easy meals because they're pre-cooked and that will last you days and days. You can repurpose into a million different meals. I was walking by and $2.29 a pound is a decent price per pound for ham. I would say a stock up price is $1.99 per pound or less, but in this case, you take $5 off each package of ham. And there's no limit. So I'm actually going to give up a few other things on my list so that I can go home with a ham to stick in my freezer for another night because that is a great deal. Here's something really interesting. So this month, Huggies diapers are on sale and we go through a lot of diapers in our house and we will be going through 
even more once these babies come. But one thing you need to be mindful of is to still be aware of the pricing even if it's on sale. For example, size four is what McEwen is wearing right now and these are on sale for $9 off which is amazing, right? But that brings them down to $36.99 but at $37 a box that would eat up a really big chunk of my budget. But if you walk down the aisle a little bit to the Kirkland brand, which by the way, spoiler alert, I'll explain this more in a future video about behind the scenes of Costco, but Kirkland does not make their own products. They make their own hot dogs, that's about it. Everything else that they own is actually made by the name brand company that's next to them down the aisle. So Huggies is really the one that makes the Kirkland diapers. But what's interesting is full price, these Kirkland diapers are actually a dollar cheaper than the sale price of Huggies. So the sale is making me feel like I should run and stock up and spend more than I need on diapers when the reality is if I walk down the aisle and just buy Kirkland brand instead of Huggies brand, I will be walking away actually paying less for Kirkland's full price diapers than I would be stocking up on the Huggies sale diapers. So I'm actually gonna walk right by the diapers because it's really not saving me money and I would rather use my budget for other things this month. Another interesting thing I noticed, I'm here and I had Tide Pods on my list because if you guys have watched my laundry videos, I will link those below. You know that I'm a big fan of Tide, first of all, that's what I use, but then I do like the pods. And I had them on my list because they're on sale this month, but now that I'm looking at the price per ounce, this is really interesting. Just like the diapers, these Tide pods with Downy specifically are the ones that are on sale. They're $5 off, which is good, but it makes them 18 cents, almost 19 cents per load with the discount. But if you come over here to the Tide pods that I'm used to using that don't have Downy, full price, these are 18 cents per load and these do go on sale so instead of stocking up on these I'm actually gonna wait save my budget and use it for other things and then wait for these Tide Pods to go on sale and stock up on those because they are a much better deal and frankly I don't really care whether it's mixed with Downy or not to me these work just fine It is loud and chaotic. The kids are home from school. I am home from Costco, but I was gonna show you guys really quick a summary of what I ended up getting. Okay, first of all, here is a look at the receipt um, for proof of what we got. And I ended up, well, that's kind of scratched off, $2.92. So I came in about seven or eight dollars under budget. I did a bigger trip this time because Twins are coming any day, and this will probably be one of my last big trips for a little while because it nearly killed me, I'm gonna be honest. So that's another reason why I siphoned off an extra $100 for my budget to go toward this for this week. So let me just give you a quick summary of what I ended up getting. All right, I got two bags of salmon because I showed you they were on sale, they were a good deal, so the stocking our freezer. I could have done without in the end if I needed something else. I would have eliminated this. It is helpful to prioritize your shopping list with with the must-haves and the want-to-haves. This was a want-to-have, and so in the end, if I had gone over budget, I could have easily eliminated this, or if I needed money for something else, but it ended up working out just fine. Feeling the salmon lately, I guess. These, I spent a huge part of my budget on because they were like $11 each, but it's because they were on sale, and our fruit basket for our lunches and snacks are totally empty, like I said. These have not been on sale for a little while, so I stocked up on those. We are completely out of OxyClean and it was on sale so I ended up getting two boxes. This was not on sale. Dawn was but the Kirkland brand actually ended up being cheaper so again you got to look at that price tag really carefully but we are completely out and so I just paid full price for the Kirkland so that was a need to have. We do chicken nuggets for lunch a lot of times in the kids lunches. We put them in like a thermos and I just feel like these are a little bit healthier than the ones that they offer at school anyway. So these were on sale, got two bags of those brown sugar we were completely out so that was full price this was full price as I mentioned so I only got one box but next time they're on sale I'm gonna stock up bread we go through a lot of bread in our house so I got that needed to restock on this better than bullion this stuff is awesome I use it all the time the ham that I talked about that ended up being five dollars off these were on sale and it was awesome because I actually had them on my list I like these 
foam plates because they're sturdy but inexpensive. But it was limit to, unfortunately. Otherwise, I definitely would have bought more. We needed to restock on cheese. And what I do is I will take half this package and put it in a Ziploc and then freeze the rest because otherwise, I recently had a huge bag go bad because we didn't use it fast enough and that was such a waste. It really makes a difference. Take out half, put it in a Ziploc, freeze the rest and pull it out as needed. Same with the yeast. I ran out of yeast so I will open this and put it in like a big jar and keep it in my freezer and it lasts for a really long time. It's like to keep on hand for recipes and stuff. The Nutella, we were totally out. I really need to restock the next time it's on sale. As you can see, we busted it open because we eat it a lot with our fruit and toast and stuff for after school snacks. Nutella, tortillas, these come in separate packages so I'll throw one in the freezer and use one now but we go through a lot of tortillas. Chips, these are on sale so I will actually take them and put them in smaller packages for lunches and snacks and I think that's it. It's crazy because it really doesn't feel like that much stuff and you know it ends up adding up pretty quick. You just have to be really strategic. I would say that this time at Costco I probably bought more food stuff than I typically do. I really try to save a lot of my budget for like non-food stuff, soap, cleaning supplies. But when I got there and realized that a lot of the sale stuff wasn't quite what it cracked up to be, then I was able to use that money instead for things that were not absolute must-haves but that would be really really nice to have and it ended up being a lot of the food stuff. So that's how it works for us. Set a budget, keep track on your phone, be mindful of the price tag and prioritize your shopping list and keep your shopping list on your phone. Hopefully that was helpful. If you want to see another Costco video, particularly how Costco works behind the scenes, what to buy and what not to buy, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what other questions you have. Otherwise I'm gonna let you go. I see a, someone hovering. Help me end this. Say later dudes. Later dudes. Say subscribe. Okay, new videos on Thursdays. New videos, new videos on, on Thursdays. Thursdays. Yeah, my mom's super pregnant. She's about to pop and she's really tired and wants to lay down and take a nap. What she said. Bye. So distracted filming this awesome video for you. I lost my keys. Wandering Costco, looking for them. And this isn't good because I have parent-teacher conferences coming up. So let's hope someone finds them.